Hello everyone, how are you today? Okay, right, who's ready to do some online maths learning? I know I am. Right, so today as always, all you're gonna need is a paper, some paper and a pencil or something to write them. But again, as always, don't worry if you haven't got any of that, you can just talk it through with me, here we go. So a bit of a warm up first of all, okay, I've got some pictures. I'll just put the screen up so it makes it easier for you to count. Count them, tell me the number. Here we go. Three, two, one. How many? Yay! Two fish. Well done. Let's have a look. How many lampshades are there? Go. Yes, excellent. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant job. How many birds are there? Ready? One, two, three. Yes, well done. Great job. Okay, ready for the next lot? Very quickly whiz through this. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done if you said eight. Let's see how many apples there are. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done if you said six. Here we go. Oh, a bit more this time. Have a really good look and concentrate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Well done. And last but not least, this one here. How many are there? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic, guys. Well done. Got your brains counting really well there. Excellent. So today we're going to be learning to add by counting on. Now at the beginning of one of our math sessions, we looked at adding one more and taking away, finding one less, adding, finding one more and finding one less. And we looked at that in terms of adding and taking away. So today we're going to use some of that knowledge, some of that prior learning to help us do some more and work with bigger numbers. I wonder how many of you are going to remember some of the things that we've used in the past to help us. Let's get started, shall we? So the best way to do it is we're going to tell a little story with our numbers because I've got my 10 frame here, okay? I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller, actually. Oh, I'm going to move myself down here. Okay, so we've got three images of our 10 frames to help us <laughs> and we've got a problem. Let's read it. First, there were cars in the car park. Then, more cars parked in the car park. Now there are cars in the car park. So we've got a story about the car park. So first of all, let's count how many cars are in the car park. Ready? Here's our first. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five cars in the car park. I've written that down on my whiteboard. And I'm going to write it on here. You can write yours on your sheet of paper if you want, or you can just wait with me. It's absolutely fine. So first there were five cars. Let's have a look then. Then... So many more cars. How many cars came along? Let's count. One, two, three cars. So three more cars came along. Now there are. So we've got to add these three cars. I'm going to put them from there. One, two, three. Add them into my 10 frame. So now there are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's read the problem again. First, there were five cars in the car park. Then, three more cars parked in the car park. So now there are eight cars. We can put that together into a number sentence like we've done before because we're super clever, okay? So first, there were five cars. And then three more. That word more, we've heard before. We said that if we learn more, we say the answer is greater. We've got a greater amount. And we know that that is using the add sign. So five add, how many more? Three equals eight. So our number sentence is five add three equals eight. And we can represent that like this and how we've done it on the board. Should we try another one? Let's have a look, look at another story. I'm gonna rub mine out to help us. Okay, so we're gonna use the 10 frame to help us. Here we go. I'm just gonna Here we go. So use the 10 frames to complete the story. Let's have a look at our story, shall we? I'm going to see if it all can fit in one bit. So first there were cars in the car park. Then more cars came in the car park, parked in the car park. And now there are cars in the car park. So first of all, how many cars are there in the car park? Yes. One, two, three, four, five cars in the car park. Okay, so I'll start with my five again. Then, how many more cars came? Let's count. One, two, three, four cars came. So 
So now there are, so let's put my four here and then let's move four counters, four cars into our problem. <gasps> Who spotted my mistake? Uh-oh, let's go back. How did that happen? Let's try it again, shall we? It goes to show mistakes definitely do happen. Shall we start again? How many cars are there in the car park? One, two, three, four, five, six cars. Oh, Mrs. Cooper, there are six. But that's okay, because we spotted our mistake and we've gone back to fix it. So there are six cars in the car park. I'm gonna write that on there. We'll try it again. There are six cars in the car park. Okay, then, one, two, three, four cars come and park in the car park. So let's add them on there. One, two, three, four cars come and park. So now how many cars are there in the car park? Look at that 10 frame, what's happened to it? It's complete. So how many cars are there? 10, excellent. And we can just check that by counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can put that together in our number sentence. There were six cars, then four more. We know that's our add sign. Came along. And there are ten all together. Six add four is ten. Four more than six is ten. Brilliant job, guys. Let's have a look at a problem. There are nine children on the bus. Five more children get on the bus. How many children are there now? I wonder if we could write our number sentence first of all. So how many children are there? So we're starting with nine because first of all there are nine. But how many more get on? Five. So our number sentence is nine add five. So we need to work out the answer. Let's have a look over here. We've got a ten frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine on the 10 frame, the nine children. Now we haven't got our then box, have we? So we can add our five now. So we're gonna add five more. Here we go, I'm gonna put some crosses. One, two, three, four, five. If you want to join in with me, you can draw your 10 frame on there. Okay, you'll need to draw two, so make it a bit smaller if you need to. You can ask an adult to help you. Okay, so I've done my five, so I've done, Nine, add five. Should we count how many we've got all together? We can be super clever because we know there's 10 there. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So nine add five is 14. So how many children are waiting for the bus? 14, because nine add five is 14. There you go, brilliant job. Okay, so that's one way of looking at how to add more. And we did this with the bunnies when we hopped the bunnies on. Another way we did with the bunnies was using a number line. So you can use the 10 frame or you can use a number line. And that's the great thing about maths. Sometimes, some people don't like using 10 frame, they find it harder. So a number line would be better. I have a number line here, okay? You can draw a number line on your whiteboard or on your piece of paper, it's up to you. Or you can just listen and work with me, that's fine too. So let's read our problem. Eva has four coins. Jack gives her seven more coins. How many coins does Eva have now? Draw in the number line and complete the number sentences. So let's slow down. How many coins does Eva start with? Excellent, she has four. And Jack gives her more, extra. And we know that's with an add sign because he's adding to her amount. And how many more does he give her? Yes, well done, he gives her seven. Okay, so. Four add seven is my number sentence. We don't know the answer yet because we haven't worked it out. So let's go to our four on our number line and we're going to jump on seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm on 11. So four add seven is 11. I'm just going to check on my number line just to help me out to make it easier. I like that. Hopefully you can see it better. Make sure you can see my numbers. So we've got four. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm on 11. Brilliant. So the jumps did work. So how many coins does she have now? She has 
11. Well done, everybody. Well done. So, four out seven is 11. Great maths there. Well done. Let's move on to another problem. See if you can solve this one on your own. So, it says true or false. Nine and three more is equal to 11. You can pause me and you can have a go at this. Nine and three more is equal to 11. Why don't you draw a number line on your whiteboard or your piece of paper, or you can just use your finger to count along. Okay, so hopefully you'll unpause me now. So we know that nine and three more is equal to 11. Well, let's work that out. Let's find nine on the number line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna go three more. Let's do three jumps. One, two, three, uh-oh. Are we true or false? It's false, it's not right, is it? Nine and three more, so we can do nine add three equals 12, not 11. So what was their mistake? They didn't count on enough. They counted on one, two, they only did nine add two. Fantastic, great job, well done. Really good thinking there, well done. Okay, so you've got a task to do now. I want you to pause me and you've got one, two, three sets of things to do. The first one says, Ron and Mo are working out three add 11 on a number line. Ron's method, so the way he's chosen to do it is doing it like this, starting here and counting on. But Mo's method chooses to count, start here and count on. What is the same and what is different? Number this one over here. Use the number lines to work out the addition. So two add 13. You've got a number line, you can do it. If you've got a ruler, you can use it. Let's have a look over here. Four add nine and one add 17. So pause me and have a go at those, please. Okay, so hopefully you should have done those ones. If I'm poor, if I'm unpaused, let's have a look. Ron and Mo are looking at the same number sentence, aren't they? They're looking at three at 11. So let's have a look. Ron started on three and counted on 11 and he got 14. Mo started on 11. And she counted on three and got to 14. So what's the same? They both got the same answer, didn't they? Excellent. What's different? Brilliant. One started on three, one started on 11. So they have just switched the number sentence around. But the answer is still the same when you add. Excellent. Well done. Let's have a look at two at 13, shall we? Very quickly. Here we go. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 2 at 13 is 15. Brilliant job. Okay, give yourself a tick if you've got it right. 4 at 9. Let's start on 4. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 at 9 is 13. Excellent job. 1 at 17. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Is eighteen. Give it a tip. We could have done it the other way around the test, like one and Mo did, and we could have done seventeen add one. Let's quickly use a different colour to show that. There's my seventeen add one. Seventeen add one is eighteen. So it did work. A little bit of a quicker way of solving the problem. Excellent, guys. Fantastic, we've come to the end of our lesson together. What a brilliant lesson you've had. We worked really quickly there to solve some problems, okay? I will see you tomorrow or we'll come back and do some more adding and maybe even start some taking away. But well done, great job. Bye everybody.